I am Teofimo Lopez versus George Cambosis. And some people might, uh, might be confused, but I really like Mark Dawson versus Paul Kroll. This is a real Philly fight. And this is a fight that I'm actually, I don't know what that makes me, but this is a true 50, 50 trajectory fight for both guys. How did this fight come about? And what's this, what's, uh, what are you looking at with this fight? This fight is not just a Philly fight. This is a world, this is a world-class fight. These are two guys who fought in 2017 for the Olympic trials and, and Paul Crawl went on to become an Olympian. This is not just a Philly thing. You know what I mean? This is, I mean, at, at, at least it's, it's national. Everyone should know these guys. You know, these guys are, um, Mark, Mark is well accomplished in the amateurs as well as Paul Carl. Paul Carl was with Heyman, fought on, you know, fought a, a tremendous fight on PBC card. And, and now they're, they're coming back home to, um, to prove themselves, to leave the, the fishbowl, um, you might say. Um, this fight came about because, you know, Mark was ready for, he, he wanted a, a real challenge, you know, in the, um, an opportunity came for us to be on Triller. Um, we weren't prepared. We weren't prepared, but he did not want to do another uh, fight where it was like, you know, he's picked as the winner. He wanted a fight where people go, is Mark going to win that? You know, he wanted to fight someone. And, you know, Paul was right there looking for a fight. And I knew that. And I asked him, he was like, yes, yes. I, that's what I really need. I, he beat me in the, he said, you know what? Um, he beat me in the, uh, in the amateurs, you know, it was, a, it was a good fight, you know? Yes. And I asked Paul and, you know, when we, we discussed it and it, it came to, it came to, it came to fruition, you know, that it wasn't something they both were saying, Oh, I can't stand him. I want to fight him. But it, it wasn't. It's, the, it's, it's, it's two guys knowing that they're going to face each other and they know that they're on their way to greatness. And it's not, not saying that the loser of this fight won't be great. Because who I don't care who loses the fight, a guy that's with me or not, I'm going to put him right back on, you know. But the thing is, this is a great fight for boxing, period, and for them. And they're willing to do it. So my hat's off to them. Well, I mean, these are like the fight I'm going to get into in a second. But these are the fights we need in boxing, right? We need great regional fights that can also be national fights that have history back to the amateurs that when we get a showtime date, there's sense like people have won fights and are deserving there. This is how the sport becomes more exciting. In my opinion, when you get these fights, uh, Mark Dawson versus Paul Kroll, because to me, this could be a fight of the year type fight with all the backstory, with all the pride of Philly and the fact that both of these guys have never lost a fight. Two throwbacks, man. There are two throwback fighters, man. And like I said, my hat's off to them. You know, this is what boxing needs. You know, they, they want to see the Paul Crawls and the Mark Dawson's and the, 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 the I'm not going to say it's this Spence and the Crawfords, but, <laughs> you know, you, you want to see the, you want to see the, the, the fighters that are on the same level fight each other. You know what I'm saying? And, and may the best man win. That, that's how it was, you know, when I was growing up, you know. Um, but times have changed. That's a whole nother conversation. Well, I, think I have this conversation a lot with my friends. I love boxing a ton, but they'll go, well, if they're, if the fight's not relatively competitive, why should I not watch college football or a great basketball game with world-class athletes? What is the incentive if I'm only halfway in with boxing, if you're telling me this guy's got an advantage? And to really get those fans, you have to give them something that's compelling because like Max Kellerman says, boxing is the sport everyone wants to watch. We just have to give them the product they want to watch. And we do. We do have to give them the product they want to watch. And it's, 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 it's really a, it's a, it's a very fine line that's there because you have the layman who watch boxing and that's, that's the people you want to get. The people who aren't exactly um, boxing aficionados, you know, you, you want that crowd. That's the ones that, that buy tickets, buy most of the tickets. Right. But we had, they see people who have two or three losses and they, they assume that they can't fight, you know, right off the bat. Oh, he lost three times. He, he can't fight. And is this pushed to keep your, O? you know what I mean? And if, and if we have, if we haven't lost a fight, we should fight at the top. And is this push with, with certain stations, um, even with Showtime, with Showbox sometimes, 
if you're lost, you can't fight here. You know, we want to see the battle of the O's. So the guys coming up in the ranks, they see this. And when they're six and oh, they don't want to fight another undefeated or a fighter, a fighter that's a challenge. You know, the managers don't want to put them in with a fighter that's a challenge because now you're going to mess my my chances of getting my guy on Showbox or Showtime because he because he's at, he, he's been defeated before. So, like I said, there's, there's, there's two sides to that coin, you know, and you have to balance it. I think that that's the hard part, right, is when you're dealing with matchmaking or promoting or anything, everyone I feel like has good intentions for the most part. Every now and then you run into people who are just not, they don't have good intentions. And the real issue is when everyone's meaning well for their fighter or themselves, that's when you run into these middle grounds where fights don't get made because everyone's trying to take the best path for themselves. And I'm just yep. hoping that we find a way where there's a common ground where we can all kind of go on a path. That's what's best for the manager and the fighter, but the fans also find some compelling matchups, whether a journeyman gets a, a good fight against a uh, unproven pro and they get a good payday or what have you. But I think that that's, what I'm looking forward to in the future. And I'm with you. Some of the best fights I've seen are, are um, what people call, a, a, even though everyone's an opponent once they get in the ring, um, of when you have guys who have been in the opponent role fighting another guy who's been in the opponent role, some of the best fights you're ever going to see. I mean, I what's up, everybody? It's your good friend, Lukey, and I appreciate you watching this video. Now... If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment with suggestions, which is the reason you're seeing this video. And also, if this is just a single video and you're saying, where's the full interview? Look at the upper left-hand corner and you can find the full interview or check in our video section. We're rapidly trying to improve this channel and it takes support from not just myself, but also people that enjoy the channel to keep me motivated and try to give you the best boxing content. Be sure to go to itrboxing.com for all of your boxing needs. This is Luke.